Hello again and welcome to another FMOD and sound design tutorial where today we're going to be looking at creating 3D binaural audio for a first person game. Uh, in case you don't know what binaural audio is, it's basically a way of recreating how the human brain locates sound in the real world. So for example, if someone called my name and was standing to the right of me, the sound would travel through the air and reach my right ear before it reached my left. And the time difference between the sound reaching my right and my left is what my brain uses to calculate the direction. Uh, so binaural audio basically attempts to recreate this. If you look online and just type in binaural audio, you'll probably see uh, a load of images of heads or dummy heads or head figurines. Uh, and the idea is that they put microphones inside the ear canals of those heads to again recreate uh, how a human would hear sounds in the real world. Uh, we're not going to be using them, however, we're going to be using Logic's uh, binaural panel, meaning we can take any audio track we want, essentially, uh, manipulate it to sound binaural. Uh, so that's what we're going to do today. Uh, and let's jump straight into it. So, first thing we're going to want to do is take an audio track like this one I've got here, and open up the binaural panel. Um, as you can see, I've recreated or I've copied and pasted this audio eight times. Uh, the idea is that in the or in F mod, we're going to be fading these tracks in and out depending on what way the player is facing to the audio source. So, for example, if the audio source was north of the player, we'd hear this track, which I'm going to play for you now, which is just a, a seamless loop of a synth I've just quickly recorded. Uh, but the idea is, it, whoops, the idea is it sounds like it's coming from directly in front of us. Uh, if the player or if the sound rather was right of the player we'd hear this one and if it was left we'd hear this one and so on depending on which way they're facing it depend determines which audio track we hear uh, before I open up the panel I would recommend you wear headphones uh, just because that's the best way to hear binaural audio uh, any old pair will do you can use just a pair of Apple earphones if you like that's fine you don't need a crazy expensive pair okay so Let's open up the binaural panel. So if we click on our track, come down to stereo out, I'm going to click and hold, and I'm going to tick this uh, where it says binaural here. And here's our little panel. Now we can move this right, uh, or sorry, we can move this green dot wherever we want to determine where the audio is going to play from. But if we double click on it, we get this little menu. And again, this is the same thing here, uh, but with a few more options. Uh, so let's quickly talk through the options. First, you've got these two modes. I'm not going to be using the spherical mode. Uh, the idea of the spherical mode is to again recreate the head shape or a spherical space like the binaural dummy heads do. Uh, but I'm just going to demonstrate binaural audio on the horizontal plane or the x-axis. So I'm just going to leave that like that. We've also got size, which if we increase, uh, changes the distance between our audio source and our listener. So if I were to put this audio source all the way to the left, you'll, you'll see that the distance is 20 meters. And if I hit play, it sounds really far away. But we're not going to have this on to that extreme. We're just going to leave this at one meter as we're going to recreate that in F mod. Uh, and the last one is the Doppler effect. Now, in case you don't know what the Doppler effect is, it's basically uh, when sound travels past us, uh, we tend to hear a difference in pitch. The pitch rises and decreases. Uh, for example, si if a siren on a police car drives past you, you'll notice the sound goes up and then it goes down as it passes you. But again, we're not going to have that on. Uh, okay, so for the north one, I want to make sure it's set at the top. Actually, let me quickly demonstrate. If I take this audio and I turn it around the space, you should hear the audio move around your headspace. So that's what we're trying to recreate in F mod, that idea. So when you're in the game, that effect should happen. Okay, so. Uh, I've taken all these tracks and I've already set them to the direction we want. For example, the southeast one is obviously I've pointed it southeast. Uh, once you've done that, you're going to want to bounce these tracks individually and you're going to want to import them into F mod. So I've already done that. So let's jump over into F mod. As you can see here, if I click binaural audio, I've already loaded these tracks up. So this is a 3D event I've created. If I come down to the master, you'll see I've got the 3D panel. Uh, you generally just want to leave this as is, or I'm going to leave this as is just for the demonstration. Uh, and this will create create the size effect that was on the binaural panel in Logic. So the further away we are from the audio, the quieter it's going to be. Uh, so we're just going to leave that as is. So once you've got all your tracks uh, loaded up, you're going to want to make sure you come up to the right, the black bar up here, right click, 
and you want to click add loop region which I've already done which is this blue bar here because we're going to want this to loop uh, so then you're going to want to come over to this plus uh, sign over here click on that add built-in parameter and you're going to want to click direction which I don't have here as you can see I've already added it so I don't have that option once you've done that come over to direction now what you're going to want to do for each track is right click volume and click add automation again I've already added the automation so it's just given me the remove automation option uh, but you should have add automation so let me open up the automation I've done so what I've done here is I've adjusted the volume of the north track so that we'll only hear it or it will fade in rather when the play or when the audio source is directly in front of the player so if I bring the little cursor over here and hit play we should hear that oh sorry that's all the tracks playing uh, basically as I move this cursor oh, let's quickly go over to here as I move this cursor the audio will fade in and out or north track will fade in and out in fact, let's move that and try that again all these cool so let's try that again so if I play over here and bring the cursor to the right we should hear the track fade in and fade out Cool, so that works quite well. Then we're going to come over to the northeast track, and I've done the same thing. Uh, but this time, instead of uh, making sure that the highest point is at zero degrees, uh, which is what I've done over here, which is how we tell FMOD that the audio source is in front of the player, I've made sure that the highest volume point is at 45 degrees, uh, which is obviously in between 90 degrees and zero degrees. So that's going to be uh, 45 degrees away from the player. And again, I've done the same curve. I've faded it in and out. And I've basically done this for all of the tracks. If we were to keep going, we'd see them all done. If I keep opening them. So southeast, I've done the same thing. South, oh, let's open that. Southwest, and so on and so on. Until we come down to northwest. Now, once you've done that, uh, oh, by the way, you probably want to make sure you've got this uh, little point in between each between the lowest and the highest point. Uh, I've set the in-between points, as I've called them, to minus eight. Uh, the idea being is that if we if we were to just make this a straight line between zero and uh, minus 80 decibels, we'd hear the volume drop uh, as the player turned in between these two tracks, uh, which doesn't make it feel very seamless. Uh, so, which is why I put them to minus eight. It kind of removes that and makes it feel a bit more smooth. Uh, cool, so that's all we really need to do on FMOD once you've done that. I mean, you can add some auto more automation if you like. You can add some uh, low-pass filters maybe if you're further away or you know, depending on the the track you're using, you can do whatever you want to it. But I'm just going to leave it like that. Uh, I've already clicked File Build, so there's no need to do anything there. I've already also click right-clicked here and assigned the event to the master bank. So let's jump over to Unity to demonstrate the final uh, phase. So I've got a little basic first person character here. Uh, as you can see, I've added the FMOD Studio listener script here, which is what we're going to need. I've also got an audio source uh, in the middle of this little map, uh, which is just a basic cube I've added. And I've added the audio to it, as you can see, binaural audio. And I've set it to play as soon as we start the game. Uh, so let's jump into it and see if this sounds as we want it to. So as I move closer towards the object, first, so first we get that uh, that size effect. The volume increases and decreases as I approach it. If I put the, if I move the audio source to the left of me, I can hear it in my left uh, ear. If I put it over here, I can now hear it in my right. And if I walk around it, I can now hear it behind me, left of me, in front, and so on. There we go. That's basically all there is to it. And again, you can use any uh, track you want. Ideally, you probably want to loop it. Or you could use this for maybe sound effects if you want them to sound a bit more uh, directional in the space you're using in your game. Um, I'm going to add a link to a uh, forum post where I actually saw this idea, which you know got, gave me the idea to create this video. If you want to check that out, there's a bit more detail on there of how how it works. Uh, but that's all there is really to it. So thanks again for watching. I've been Henry Scott. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.